<laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are the Bush Garden Junkies here on a Saturday morning because Bush Gardens has been closed for the past few days because of Hurricane Ian. Well, we were having plans to come and check out all of our animal ambassadors yesterday. But uh, yeah, Bush Gardens sent out an email saying, no, sorry, we're not open on Friday. We're gonna be opening Saturday, October 1st at 10 o'clock. So here we are, it's 10 o'clock. Let's go check out all our ambassadors inside and make sure they fared well. Looks like it's crowded, but not that crowded. Looks like the lines are moving quite quickly. A whole bunch of people picking up their tickets. All right, ride number, who knows? 70, 80, 90, 100. They uh, had everybody unload the train and uh, they were checking something on the track it looks like just outside the station but they are loading and right there our chariot awaits well we are on second to the last row and we're gonna have some fun yeah we are uh, I think she's already gotten about five to ten runs in already so she's warmed up quite a bit so here we go. Please pull down on your lap bar and secure it firmly to your legs. During your ride, I'm on green. Oh, no. Keeping your green. hands, green. arms, and legs I'm down on. inside the train. There we go. Times. Yeah, you see that panel up there, right, guys? Stop telling them all our secrets. It's not a secret anymore, it it's out. Here we go! Bright sunny day here. Nice. Nice and cool. Whoa. <laughs> Ian behind us pushing us faster. That's right guys. I always do that because I have to give the girl a pat because she always gives us a good ride. Um, 
she was running a little bit cold uh, in that stall there uh, didn't get too much yeah didn't get too much um, hang time on that stall but yeah it, nonetheless it's still a great ride <laughs> however you put it it's a great ride so now on to check out some of the other good things that are here at least we know the wood and the steel merged together held up and now we are up we when we first came in it was 15 we are now up to 35 minutes folks that's how quick this place packs out on a saturday so far everything's fared pretty well including the cheetahs So there is a brief delay as they add a train to the track. Well, I thought they could do it all in the control room, but it looks like they're actually sending somebody to the panel to transfer the track. That's why they call it a transfer track. It transfers a train from the maintenance shed to the track. And if you see it right there, here she comes. Train number three. Dreaming swing. This is the transfer track right there. Well, looks like the steel held up on Cheetah Hunt. It's definitely hurricane proof. Iron Gwazi, well, it's right there in the name, iron. It's iron proof. Yeah, I thought that was a little funny. <laughs> Okay, a dad joke, all right? So, Iron Gwazi, it's in the name. It's gonna hold up. Now on to check out some other rides and some of our animal friends. There's a sugar skull. I'm surprised that it's still up. And a nice little spot for a photo op.
number three, car number two. That's three dash two. And we are in the 88 section, so yeah, we got loaded up. We're probably gonna sneak in right after this train. Hi back there. Hi. We we did a stagger method. So hopefully what this does is balances out the weight so that way this spins. How you doing? We got some massive spinach there. But we didn't. Yeah, we did. But we didn't. It felt good. <laughs> About three or four. Not like five like we had the other day, but. Yeah, we got plenty of spins. About three, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to count them. animals definitely look like they fared well and so far with the rides we've been on the steel and the wood has survived Hurricane Ian see some giraffes out there and some zebras and the ever so rare humans in the back of a truck. Wow, that's extinct almost. Really? <laughs> Just kidding, folks. You try to be funny. Yeah, I try. But yeah, so far so good. Here at Bush Gardens after a hurricane.
everybody safe and fared out pretty well. This was uh, by the hippos there and uh, uh, definitely was not Devi. So I think it was Moyo that was hanging out there. Uh, so Moyo looks like he fared well um, over there. So, so far the animals have been safe. Uh, we're gonna now go check on the, uh, well, I don't think we need to check on a crocodile. This is Florida. Crocodiles and alligators love this kind of weather. But uh, there is the lions and hyenas up ahead. Now, I remember the last time we had a nice storm here. There was a lot of these trees and stuff that were all cleared out and well, yeah, I guess it did kind of happen there too. A little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna scoot over this side. And I think I see hyenas over here. somewhere oh there's one of the girls hey look like they're hiding Hi, beautiful. Hello. A couple of them are hiding underneath there. And it does look like that tree right there may have been broken from the wind. Aww. And look at the little baby. Look at the little baby inside. Come on out. There's a couple of babies in there, it looks like. Is it coming out? No. Yeah, here it comes. No. No. It's hidden in there. Oh well, we can't get the baby to come out. Yeah, that's Falcon's Fury. Still not flying. The last time we were here and we did get to ride it, it was only open for that one day. And then they closed it down again, so we were lucky enough to get our ride in. But, um, yeah, chances of it reopening this year are slim to none. Uh, inside word is they've even had Intamin over here to check it out, find out what's wrong with it. And, uh, of course, the parts are on order. Parts are coming from across the seas. So there's going to be a delay in when we get the parts. Uh, rumor has it we probably won't see this ride up and running this year. We'll probably have to wait till next year, guys. So we uh, just spoke with our good friend Dakota. And, uh, well, all of our wonderful animal friends there out on the veldt were safely put away in their paddocks except for the impalas. Now, I guess they were, uh, their natural instinct is to run, so instead of getting them all caged in, 
they let them roam around free. Yeah, that's what you're talking about right there, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there it is, the top of the screaming swing. Just beyond that scare zone. And now we are coming up to the Animal Care Center and right across from the Animal Care Center. This is stinky elephants. Oh, why do you always say stinky elephants? Because they do. Okay, do you smell them? Yes. I don't smell them. There she is, good old Project Jethro. And here's the elephants. We got all the three elephants out over here. getting a drink of water. Look at that. Put this trunk right up there catching the water coming down and water's just dripping over his trunk and he's got his mouth wide open. He's like, ah. Okie dokie then. You're really thirsty, aren't you? But they got the work walls up around it. We got the bush flyers over here. Oh wow, they really got the work walls up around there. And the Phoenix, still not in operation as usual. We got sand serpent over there. It doesn't look like that long of a wait, so we'll give it a try. Yeah, we are here on the carousel. We need to get the ride credit in. Uh, we do have a time for the sand serpent, but they got like a 20 minute wait, so we're hanging on for about 20 minutes. So we decided to come on the carousel. So that's a hop on. We get to go around in a circle. And another left turn. And another left turn. Hey, we're moving. We're going backwards. Too much weight on this side. See? It stopped. Now she's going up and I'm going down. I'm riding a horse, it's so bumpy. <laughs> and at least with this camera and the new stabilization, you won't be able to tell how bumpy it is. Where she stops, nobody knows. Ride 
fighting, cowboy. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Keep them doggies rollin' real high. Like we're coming into the OK Corral here, folks. I don't know. Coming into the OK Corral, we're gonna put our horsey up to get some feed, and uh, I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. I think we rounded up them doggies. Home for the holidays. Welcome to the residence. Nice little haunted house that we'll be able to check out next weekend. That's right, folks. We'll be coming here next week, October 8th, to experience the fear. Welcome to the Sand Serpent. Watch your step as you enter the car. Once seated, pull the lamp bar down and Closer look, but we'll get a better look of it next week. And actually go inside. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's the only problem about this one. Too many brakes at the end. Break. Yeah, see, five. Well, we left uh, Pantopia. No. Yeah. And now we're in Jangala. Not sure which way we want to go. Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah. Look out for the clowns. Ooh. Uh, looks like the Congo train station is open. Isn't she beautiful? Hey, here we go. Yeah, we were we were planning on coming yesterday, but then I got an email saying, nope, sorry, we're not gonna be open. I'm like, really? Ah. So, and it's like, I need to see how the animals fared. Bounced around and stuck in the rapids. 
Rapids. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a little chilly. Don't worry, the water's a little cold. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, I might be lucky. Yo, yo, oh. <laughs> Let's hope they did not turn the waterfall on. Oh, that's going to be really bad. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. I think I saw the waterfall and I thought it was turned on. Oh, no. Here we go again. No waterfall. They got lucky. Oh, otherwise we would have been soaked. Now it's harder. I'm going to go again. Oh, they know it's going to the right. Can we go again? Oh, it's fun. Yeah, that water's a little bit cold, so I think that would be it. One run today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, the orangutans had some nice improvements done to their habitat here. We just can't find any of the orangutans. Where did they go? Let's see if we can find any in here. like Willie is up there. Good old dreadlock Willie. Definitely got the pirate theme going on around here. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Ooh. Hello, scary. So far, just two, three days after the hurricane blew through, well, didn't really blow through Tampa. It actually hit south down in Fort Myers, Port Charlotte area, but it's still close enough to Bush Gardens to make them shut down for a few days. But uh, so far from what we have seen, all the roller coasters, all the rides, all the animals, and of course all the ambassadors have fared pretty well.
Cirque Extreme, or Extreme, I should say, is back. over here by the smokehouse we have Raven's Mill that's it all we gotta do is go into the vision that's it it's actually nice that they made the whole ramp a little bit of a uh, well there's not much here Oh, there we go. They could possibly hide some scare actors right there. Or if we want to wait. Uh, right behind there, there could be a scare actor. Really? But, uh, yeah. All these scarecrows hanging up. I wonder what happened to the one that had the bird on it. I don't know. Oh, there's the one with the bird on it. I think. Yeah, it is. No. No. Yeah. yeah. There's a bird right well, there. Well, there's a bird up the top there. There's a couple with crows. With a broken wing. Crows up there. They had one of the. Oh, yeah, some more crows. Yeah. Or ravens. Since this is Raven's Nest or yeah, Raven's. Yeah. yeah. So the bird's gone wild. <laughs> okay, you like that dad joke, but you didn't like the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they turned this into like a little barn. With a whole bot whole bunch of rotting pumpkins. 
It's Jack. Jack. Yeah, Jack. Well, okay. I didn't think Jack. Ah! <laughs> Saw a clown, and Hollow Scream isn't even started yet. Stand up. Back out, they're no longer in a mating box. Here they are. Hi. Hi. I hear them. We're up in the tree and stuff. They're like, welcome back, welcome back. Give it back, give it back. There you go. They still got some in there. Get up to that bird. It's okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Come on. Come on. Step up. Hold it. Let's keep going. No. Step up. Oh, you just want to lick my hand. <laughs> you don't want to step up? No. This one's so cute. It's licking my hand. Yeah, you're pretty. That one's there. Yeah. In the water. They gave you some sardines in there, huh? Oh, Hi. Okay. Yeah, there's some sardines in there. Yeah. Yeah, you got one. You tossed it out. He's picking out all the sardines. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, that just is a waste. Oh, you finally found one. You gonna eat it? No, you're gonna toss it. Okay, good. We wanted to make sure you're consistent there. Ah, yeah, funny. Not so funny. Pretty, but funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, funny and weird. <laughs> and moving right along.
Aww. Looked like they were feeding each other. What are you doing? Does it taste good? Yeah. Hi there. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Does it taste good? Okay. Let's stand over here. Stand over here. Stand over here. Take this. And the pink chickens have fared out quite well. And it looks like a whole bunch of seagulls too. Look at this cutie. They got the right idea. Time for a nap. Some of them are sleeping weird. Other two are back there. Yeah. And the two black swans are over there. Well, folks, because of Hurricane Ian, there's no 50 50 show this evening. And this is the Coca Cola Pavilion or the Coca Cola or Coke can Canopy. And if you look, they took it down. Well, they basically folded it up almost, is what it more is like. But yeah, they, because of the hurricane and all the winds, uh, looks like they uh, went ahead and played the accordion on the Cook Pavilion Cook Canopy, and they folded it down. Well, we haven't actually been through this area in a while. This is the Spooktacular. It's for the kids, the little ones to get snacks and treats and tricks. Get the pumpkins here. Looks like they got a little Halloween show. And oh, that looks so cute and colorful. I got a hot. <laughs> they get the candy through a little cute. Another little stage. Yeah, that's okay. We're just driving around. <laughs> so, fog machine.
Welcome to Bush Garden Spooktacular. And there's your little map for Spooktacular. Get all your candy treats. Costume parade. Ooh. And yeah, we are coming back up to Iron Gwazi. Now, according to the app, it said 70 minutes. Uh, maybe it's not quite 70 minutes, so. Looks like 30 or 35 minutes. Thank you for watching. We're sitting here at the exit of Iron Gwazi and we're gonna be calling it a day. Like I said, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and our next video oh, will be... Oh, I can't wait. Our next video is gonna be, well, we're gonna come here on October 8th, which is next Saturday, and we're gonna experience Hollow Scream for the first time in our lives. So, uh, yeah. We'll we're, see how scared he gets. No, I won't get scared. Yeah. I don't get scared easily, unless it's little bugs and creepy <laughs> and crawlies. And, but yeah, <laughs> we should have some fun. So join us next week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Tell me that you liked it. And uh, we'll catch you next week.